Hello everyone, and welcome to Aaron's Test Bench with First UAS. Today I'm bringing you a review of a micro UAS uh, with a camera, making it the world's smallest drone with a camera. This is the CX-10C from San Luan Industries of China, and it is the third in what is a long-running series of, of micro UAS, at least given the embryonic state of this industry. The original, Cheerson CX-10, came out approximately a year ago, and the follow-up, the Cheerson CX-10A, came out about six months ago. These three devices represent some of the smallest flying machines in the world, and while they are currently not the smallest uh, micro UAS in the world, that honor would belong to the smaller Cheerson CX Stars, also known as the Florian FX-10 and the, the Dromeda D1. Or, there's a variety of names that this is sold under. This, up until recently, was the smallest uh, uh, micro UAS in the world, and this is currently the world's smallest uh, uh, flying device with a camera built into it. So as far as price, you're going to uh, pay about $30, uh, and that's going to depend upon the site that you buy it from and whether you buy it directly from China through a place like Banggood or through a redistributor like Amazon. But expect to pay about $30. It has a 80 milliamp amp hour battery, which is a little bit smaller than the originals, apparently to make up for the extra space taken up by the camera and the micro SD card slot. Micro SD is inserted right over here, by the way. And consequently, it has shorter flight times than the original. If you run the camera, in fact, you'll find that the flight times are quite limited, maybe two to three minutes. The camera itself is a 640 by 480 camera, which has image stabilization and auto exposure. But my particular example, as you can see here, it didn't have the best stabilization or auto exposure. Now, I have seen examples in the wild where the camera is actually pretty impressive. So I think that I just didn't get a very good one and the QC on these isn't fantastic. As you'd expect from something that is reaching this incredibly low price point. It is a fun little device and it shares some of the good handling characteristics of the earlier Cheerson series with the understanding that it weighs considerably more. And so the handling isn't quite up to snuff and it has some power issues as well. A lot of these power issues stem from the new engine speed controllers that were implemented in the Cheerson CX-10A to prevent the motors from destroying themselves. This was a common problem with the original Cheerson um, because, well, frankly, you could just run the motors uh, uh, until they burnt themselves out. Um, I actually have replaced several motors on this particular uh, aircraft uh, to keep it in the air. And while this is a relatively simple task if you're good with a soldering iron, it's still not something you'd expect your average kid to do. So it's good to see that they've improved the engine speed controls in the A model. It's just too bad that they didn't fiddle with it a little bit in this one. Because on descent, this thing has a tendency to plummet out of the sky. It's just too heavy. It starts uh, descending and then descends too fast and it can't recover because the engine speed controls cut out before it reaches uh, enough throttle to actually pull it out of its terminal fall. There was another issue related to this, and that is that this didn't have as good controller range as I experienced with the earlier models, which were generally good out to about 50 yards or so. This one started cutting out about 10 yards, and this is unfortunate for a camera UAS because I would really like to be able to pop this up about 100 feet in the air and take some video of my surroundings with it. That would be one of the most useful things to do with it, and unfortunately you can't really do that because it just kind of plummets out of the sky if you try to do that. All in all, this is a remarkable device. It really does everything that it's advertised to do. It is a micro UAV with a camera. It's the smallest in the world. It's fairly inexpensive at $30. But unless the camera is really important to you, in which case I might recommend something a little bit bigger that can actually do real work, I would instead go with the Cheerson CX-10A, which is a much better flyer and has better flight times and is generally more fun to, to, to fly with. So that being said, let's talk a little bit about, bit about what came in the box. First off was a fairly standard controller. The only difference between this and the earlier controllers in the Cheerson series is that it has a photo and video button in place of the left and right trim. Otherwise, it's, it, it's exactly interchangeable. In fact, you can control the Cheerson CX-10A with the C controller perfectly fine. Similarly, 
the smaller Florian FX10, Cheerson CX Stars, whatever. The current smallest in the world. It's about the size of a quarter. It can also be controlled with this controller. So if you have several in this series, the interchangeability of the controllers is quite nice. And you'll find that it is difficult to interfere with other flyers with these controllers because they have a pretty nice spread spectrum chip, chip in them that, that does the job well and prevents interference under most circumstances. So all in all, this is a very nice little UAS that um, comes with essentially the same accessory set that we've seen from the other Chearsons. So lots of interchangeability of parts, that's nice. But it has some weaknesses due to the fact that they didn't tweak it enough to deal with the extra weight. Perhaps there'll be a revised version in the future, and uh, maybe at some point the uh, QC on the camera will be, get good enough that I can trust that when I get one of these, it'll be able to take decent video. But for right now, I would actually pass up on this for other more capable camera UAS, or if you want something just to fly around, go for the Cheerson CX-10A. This is a nice device. Coming soon, there will be a comparison test between this and one of its most important competitors in the market currently. So if you want to hear more about the A model, which is my current favorite micro, micro US, just stay tuned, and uh, there'll be a little bit more news on it than the next couple of weeks. At any rate, um, thank you for joining me at, on my test bench, and I hope you all have a nice evening. Fly safely, everyone.